Hi guys, thank you for clicking on the video today. My name is Martha and I am here at Epcot today to enjoy Festival of the Arts. Festival of the Arts is one of Epcot's shortest festivals, but here we get to be part of the art by stepping into masterpieces. We get to enjoy performances from amazing artists, so it's a show-stopping experience. We also get to be part of the art by painting this Paint by Numbers mural. We get to see all sorts of different art, including chalk art, all throughout the park. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure that you watch along with me today. So when we come to the festival, the first thing we want to do is grab a festival passport. In the passport, there's all the information that you need about the festival. It has all the artists, when they're presenting, the dates that they'll be at the booths, and they also have a listing of the scavenger hunt sort of thing. It's like a food challenge this year. It's called the Wonderful Walk of Colorful Cuisine. And if you purchase five of these dishes, you get like a compl completer gift at the end. And we'll see that later in the video. There is a lot of fun to be had here, guys. So let's go. We're setting up for the chalk art. It's exciting. So we're going to start going towards Canada today. And now you're going to start seeing the festival booths and they all have their menu posted on one of these display boards. So make sure that you look out for them so that you know what you want and if you want to stop at that booth. So this is in the America Pavilion and that photo pass photographer was the best. His name was Phil and he took all these pictures of me inside this art piece and I had the funnest time chatting with him afterwards. So I gave him a cast compliment. All right guys, so I'm here mapping out my plan for the festival. So I wanna make sure that I cross off the booths that have the challenge because if we get all six of those stickers, we get a redemption prize, and I just wanna see what that is. So I'm just here planning out what we're getting off of that challenge. Yes, yeah, so as we look at this, it like has the little, I don't know if you could see, but like that little icon for the foods that are part of the challenge. And it lists everything out. So see right here at Popped Art, they have one. Besides having the icon, the food list is also available in the back of the pamphlet. So it tells you where you can get each treat. That way it saves you a little bit of time so you don't have to go through the whole passport. So just FYI. So we are gonna choose the five items. I'm sure we're getting that empanada so that we can get that redemption prize. Okay, so the first thing we're getting is the chorizo and potato empanada from Vivrante and Vivido, the Encanto Cocina. Thank you. So this is the chorizo and potato empanada from the Encanto Cocina. There you go. So that's what the inside of it looks like. It has the chorizo, it's a little bit of a, a really good spice in there. It tastes really good. The other thing I got at the Encanto Cocina was this passion fruit smoothie. It was amazingly delicious. It came in a souvenir cup and it's plastic so you could put it in your backpack. It was delicious. You need to get this.
As we walk by the festival, there's lots of booths open with art. We did go ahead and make our way to Canada, to the gourmet landscapes, and I got the mushroom risotto, and this was also mega delicious. So I also think you have to put this on your list for the festival. It was super creamy. The mushroom flavor was delicious. It had like a little sauce, the Parmesan on top. Oh, it was great. And then I also had the beef, oh, beet, it's beet, beet tartare. <clears throat> And I like beet, but I didn't like the flavor of this. So I don't know that I would get it again, but it was one of the stamps for the colorful walk of cuisine. So that's why I got that. Then we made our way to the expression section. We got in line and here what we did is we got a paintbrush and a paint color and we went ahead and we were part of the expression section that they have here. And it was so fun. It was really quick. They assign you a set number of squares that you can paint and you go to the wall, find your number and fill in the spaces. Behind the cast members there are the murals that are going to be painted while the festival is happening. And when you're done doing your part, you get to get a bookmark of the mural that you painted. Initially, I had a hard time finding my assigned number on that little square where the cast member placed me, but then I found some 13s and I was able to paint them. And now we're back to the food. We stopped at the deconstructed booth and we got the key lime pie. Now I am not a lover of citric flavors with dessert. Now this face that you're gonna see me make, it's because that's sour. Now this by itself wasn't too amazing, but when you combined everything together, it was really delicious. So I would suggest that you get this if you go to the festival. This is where the performances are and they have a little setup on each of the ends of the stage that gives you the times, the names of the artists that are gonna be showing performances here. So make sure you stop by and look at it and see if you're interested in any of these offerings. As you make your way around Epcot, you're gonna see art all over the place. So make sure that you take time, pay attention, and look at all these amazing pieces by different artists that Disney is featuring. So we made our way to Pop Eats for this frangipan cake. If I were rating things from one to 10, this gets a negative 100. It was so bad, guys. Don't get the frangipan cake. Don't do it. The last thing we tried at the festival was this guaracha de champiñones from El Artista Hambriento. <laughs> and I had really high hopes for this, but I was disappointed. It needed like some spice, it needed additional flavor. It was just not what I was expecting. But the next treat that we got was actually pretty good. This is the orange cream deconstructed cake and it was delicious. The only thing I didn't like was the cookie at the bottom. But this gave us our fifth stamp. And as a reward for completing it, we got a berry smoothie inside this souvenir cup. And we also got a painter's palette sugar cookie, which is really yummy. So that completes our day at Epcot. I hope you guys found value in this and you have some information about the festival for your next visit. I hope that you get to enjoy it as much as I did. And yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>